Hey everybody, it's Will, and today we're making our own alcohol lamp. You don't need that many things. Um, we're just going to use a medium-sized uh, baby food jar. We have a little piece of wick, or you can use a cotton ball unrolled and then rolled up to be like simulate a wick. Um, and then you're going to need some aluminum foil and a drill with a bit that's about the diameter of your wick. So what you're going to want to do first is put a hole in the middle, right in the center of your baby food lid. Alright, yeah, be careful, it might have a little bit of burrs on it, but there you go. You got a hole right in the center of your baby food jar. Next, you're going to need a piece of aluminum foil. So we're just going to tear off some pieces here. We're going to take one piece of aluminum foil and wrap it around the bottom part here. Just like make sure you get it all into the crevices. And then make sure you can still get the lid on. Nice and tight. Alright. You can tear off the excess. around this part. Now you have aluminum foil on the bottom. We're going to do one layer of aluminum foil on top. The aluminum foil is a little bit of a heat retention so that the alcohol doesn't get hot in the inside. So what we're doing here, we're just getting it in the crevices, so it's nice and snug, and taking off the excess that we don't need. All right, so we got a nice snug fit. We're gonna take our little tool here and poke through the hole. And then we're gonna just slide our wick through. All right, so our wick is through. Just gonna screw the cap back on for now. And we're gonna add one more layer of aluminum foil. And this one's going to go around the wick. So we're going to go ahead and poke a hole in the middle. Put our wick through. Alright, and we're going to kind of like wrap our wick around the base with this aluminum the foil. Take, then take the rest of that and match it up against the edge for extra protection. Now we're just going to add some 70% isopropyl alcohol in here and let our wick soak until it's ready to be lit. And then we'll demonstrate it being lit. So we're going to fill about a little bit less than halfway with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure your lid is tightly, snugly screwed on. So there you have it, your very own alcohol lamp. Be very careful with this. Um, don't let it run for too long. Uh, you can use this as a stove in emergencies. Um, but we're going to be using this to flame sterilize our, our needles whenever we do uh, injections or we're going to use it to uh, flame sterilize our scalpels whenever we do transfers from agar. So we'll just show you this real quick. There it is.